Hi everyone, I wanted to do a quick video tutorial for you on something I've just worked out how to do and I'm so excited about it. I saw this card um, originally on Jenny Pauly's um, blog and um, Jenny's a German uh, stamping up demonstrator and I saw um, a card that she had done and was immediately intrigued by this gorgeous uh, label closure here which is made with our brand new uh, tag topper punches that we can get from stamping up and Jenny didn't actually give any instructions about how she made um, the closure on the card and I absolutely had to work out how to do it and I've worked it out so I want to really quickly share with you guys how you two can make this fun closure. Okay, so basically all you'll need is a piece of um, card stock that you would normally use to create um, your standard card. Um, you will need a pencil, um, well I use a pencil just so I can get the closures in the right place. You'll obviously need the um, tag uh, topper punch and you'll also need the Stampin' Out um, trimmer just so that you can trim away the excess cardstock. So I'll bring the trimmer in because what I actually do is I use this as a bit of a measuring tool as well which I love. Um, I sort of go in and put my cardstock in so that the shorter edge runs along the top. I mark, um, use the right hand side to mark on the one inch mark there that's on my um, tray and basically all I want to do is I close the uh, rule apart down and I just use this as a guide to put a little one inch tick mark on the top bit there just with pencil and I'll see if I can squizzy this up there we go and I'm just going to put another pencil mark at the one inch mark there and basically well, then I know that that's straight and true because my trimmer is um, better than my eye when it comes to using a ruler so I've just got a one inch mark there and there and all I use this for is that you know how we can cut our tags to our pieces of cardstock to two inches wide or just shy of two inches to get our tags punched out? I was trying to work out well, how do you get this cut with um, a whole bigger piece of cardstock? And it's actually really quite simple. All you do is you actually just give the go to put the cardstock in the um, in the punch, give it a sort of push down on an angle, and then I put my hands underneath the cardstock here, and if you lift sort of lift the cardstock up, you'll find that it just slides straight into your punch all the way to the back. How good is that? And you can actually then just punch this out. Now what I'll show you, so I'll come in a little bit tighter, and the one inch tick mark for me is just so that um, from the top when I'm doing this, I want to make sure that the edge of my punch is lined up with that little tick mark because I know when I go to do the other side, I'll show you here, um, when I do the other side, I then know, see how the tick mark's right on the edge of that punch there? I'll know that um, when I do the other side, my closure's going to be even on both sides. So it just sits in there, pull it all the way through as far as you can go, give it a push down, like that, pull it out, voila. Okay, so that's one side done. You don't have to worry about the tick marks because um, we're going to I'll get rid of those in a minute. The, all I'm going to do then is I'm going to take my cardstock. Oh, I forgot to tell you. You're going to turn it over. Let me widen this out a little bit. Okay, so you're going to turn it over this way because you want to put it in um, the same way. You'll just have to transfer your little tick mark to the other side of your cardstock there to make sure it's on the right side. Okay, same process again, guys. You're just going to put it in on an angle, come to the edge just lift it up a little bit to let it sort of slide into your punch and I'm just going to line this up right on the edge so that my tick mark again is just on the edge of the punch there okay so that I'm happy that it's all the way in there give it another punch down put your cardstock out voila two tags that are pretty much directly opposite one another now they're not in the center of the card so if you really wanted to you could center this but I actually don't mind my closure sort of more to the top or more to the bottom on my cards I don't sort of like it in the center you'll see it is just off a, a wee little bit all right so that's all you need to do with your, your um, tag topper then what I'm going to do is grab the um, trimmer back in here again so basically what you're going to do is you're going to put um, your cardstock back into the trimmer and you're going to use your um, cutting blade, which is the dark, darker one here, to trim away these extra little bits of um, cardstock. So I do it by lining up so I can sort of just see the, um, the track in the, in the indents there. And we're going to cut away that end, move to the top. Okay. 
and cut away the, the top portion so you're left with something that looks a little bit like that. Now while you've still got that in the trimmer there, move the cutting blade out of the way, grab your scoring blade and give that little bit a score because what happens here is that makes your first closure on one side. Okay, so then turn it around to the opposite side. The same thing on this side, you're gonna use your cutting blade to cut away the bottom bit. And the top bit, like that. Now this time you're not gonna score this little tag. What you're actually gonna do is where you're gonna score from is for us um, Aussie demos, our cards, um, card when we finish making them, are four and an eighth inch, four and one eighth inches wide. So all I'm going to do is, from the edge where I folded that one up, I'm going to line up this with the four and one eighth of an inch mark on my um, board here, not with the cutting blade, but with the scoring blade. I'm going to score that. Um, so for the US demos and that, that have a different card stock, all you're going to do is score your card. Um, what your finished card base would normally be. Does that make sense? So whatever your finished card sizes are, that's what you want to do your second score line at. Okay, so move that out of the way and then you'll find, once you fold along this score line, which is here, and fold this one down again, voila, you've got a closure that meets perfectly even to even. How cool is that? I love it. All right, so... Um, let me just go back out wide here. Now you can take your, your scissors and, and clean and tidy all that up a little bit if you like, which I won't do right now. Then all I did was I've cut some panels here for um, this side here. So I've got five and a half by two inches for the playing card stock. And so then I've gone down to five and three eighths by one and seven eighths for my designer series paper on that side. I've got a normal um, card insert which goes in here, which is my standard five and a half by three and three quarters. And I've just got a label and some ribbon to tie it closed. So I'm going to put this together, put it in fast forward just so you can see how this one came together. Um, if you've got any questions at the end of it, make sure you leave me some comments. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line.